How's it going people? Bobby here, you might know me online as Einhammer5 and today I wanted to bring you a quick vape vlog just to talk about some stuff about vaping. I've got nothing specific I wanted to really talk about um, but I've got some new things in front of me here and it's all thanks to people on Reddit um, and that's kind of one of the main things I wanted to do was say a big thank you to some guys on the uh, European e-cigarette subreddit which is ECR underscore EU and um, I've been hanging around over there, there's a cool bunch of people hanging out, it's a smaller subreddit than ECR, so uh, it's quite a nice little community, everyone's kind of getting to know each other, we kind of you recognise the names a bit more, and um, it's really quite fun, so come over and check that out, I would say. Um, but also, before I get onto that stuff, um, I wanted to say, uh, we've had this idea, I met this other guy on Reddit called Alkaline B, he makes videos on YouTube too, um, he made a cool video that you might have seen which is comparing the uh, the voltage outputs of the cloud pool devices compared to the Sigeli 100 watt and uh, how they weren't quite coming up to the the right voltages that they were supposed to be. Uh, but he's been making some videos too, and uh, he also has a beard like me. So um, we've decided we might get together and make a kind of like podcast, live stream video kind of show thing about vaping. Um, called something to do with beards and vaping maybe the vaping beardsman or something like that who knows but it's going to be cool it should be good fun to chat with another guy he's from the UK too and at least I'm guessing he's from the UK he's got a British accent in his videos I haven't actually spoken to him yet um, we're going to get together and try and do something cool it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun so uh, keep an eye out for that I'll make sure to let people know and I will uh, there will be a new YouTube channel for that so we will make a new channel and I'll make sure to let you know where that is. I'll be posting it everywhere on Twitter and I'm sure it'll be on Reddit too. So go and check that out. Uh, when it comes about, uh, hopefully we can get something done uh, before Christmas. I'm not sure. We'll see what we can do. If we can get an episode out before then, that'll be really cool. Um, but to also talk about the other people from ECREU who I wanted to thank, it is Fluffton, who is awesome. Uh, he's from the UK. And he sent me some 72 milligram nicotine to do some DIY stuff with, which I wanted to do because I didn't have any juice. And uh, I was running out of juice and I didn't have much money left for the rest of the month. And it's obviously that time of year where you're spending all your money, right? So uh, I was posting on Reddit saying that I wanted to buy just like some concentrate and some VG and make some like max VG juice. Uh, but I didn't want to have to buy a big giant bottle of nicotine, so I was asking if there was anywhere I could buy a smaller bottle of nicotine just to make maybe 100 mil of 6 milligram juice, which needs hardly any nicotine at all. And I uh, just wanted to make a big bowl just to get me through the month because I didn't have much juice left. And I'm sure other people have been in that situation before. It's not fun when you think you're running out of juice. Um, so I was trying to look for some small bottles of nicotine and he came onto reddit and just outright said I'll send you some nicotine let me know your address and I'll send it to you um, so that was awesome of him he sent me like I think it might be, even be like 30 milliliters or something or a 15 milliliter bowl I can't remember now um, so that was awesome so, so thanks to him for that um, I still haven't got my concentrates yet so I haven't been able to mix anything but when I do I think I'll make a little video of my first DIY mixing uh, I'm going to buy some mum and pups concentrates because I've tried them before and I know there's a couple of flavors there that I like, so I'm gonna get those and just get those to start with, just to get used to mixing stuff together and then we can start being a bit more experimental. Um, but the second thank you goes out to Kirbix50, which is K-I-R-B-I-X, and the number 50. I think that's how you pronounce it, Kirbix. But he's from Finland, and he had a bunch of extra juice that w weren't his kind of thing or whatever that he had accumulated over time, and he decided he was going to give them away on the ECIU subreddit and I posted a comment on there like quite a while ago and as ever with these things you kind of think well it won't be mean but uh, suddenly he jumped into the IRC channel and told me to get on over to the subreddit uh, because I'd won his giveaway and like he was giving away a whole load of juices and uh, like, there's a few here like there's juices everywhere I hope I don't drop any of the glass bottles but these are all juices that he sent me. Big bottles of MBV. There's some red oak, 100% VG Marango juice. 
Halo juice, like Grizzly Vapes. There's just juice everywhere, all different flavors. Very creamy, cinnamon roll, faux hawk. Um, yeah, Nana Bear. Um, he sent me all of those. There's a Cosmonaut one there too. I haven't tried that yet. I've tried a few of them. Um, but uh, not only did he send me that, he threw in some like real thick canthal that I can use to make some coils with and told me not to kill myself with it, which was kind of him. Um, sorry for the banging around. He also sent me some Japanese cotton, which I'd never used to whip with before. And I tried to whip with it. I'm used to using rayon. And uh, I found it quite tricky, so I'm going to have to like play around with that and see what I can do with it. Um, but no, he even sent me this uh, Quasar RDA to put on top of my Nemesis. So I've been using the Mephisto, and it was my only RDA up until now. Um, but he's sent me a Quasar RDA. So like, how awesome is that? And he just chucked that in on top. Um, because the giveaway was mainly just juices. Uh, but he threw that in for me. Um, he paid for the postage from Finland to the UK. Like, how cool is he? But uh, After playing around, um, the cool thing about having two RDAs that I've realized is that now I don't have to worry if I'm tinkering with one, right? Because before, if I was messing around with my Mephisto and I couldn't get a build going, then I would start to get a bit worried and... Um, I'd panic and then I'd start rushing and then it'd get worse and then I'd go back to my Orchid but it's not the same as my RDA although a lot of people say it's very close it's certainly not the same in my eyes at least um, so now I've got two and now I can mess around with them and have fun tinkering with one without having to worry I've now I've got something to vape on in the meantime um, and I'm really cold. I'm kind of like shivering a little bit here. It's like that cold tonight. It's ridiculous. There's no heating on. I'm going to put my hood up and hopefully stop shivering when I'm trying to talk to you guys. Because there's a window right here, if you can't tell. There's a window. And it's a real crappy window. And it gets real cold when I'm sitting next to it this time of night. Once everyone's in bed and the heating's gone off by the seams of it, um, it's that time of night. And yeah, it's real cold. Anyhow... Back to this, um, so I just wanted to play with it and get it on there, so I just grabbed some 28 gauge campfell and just wrapped it around a screwdriver, which I wasn't even sure what diameter it was, uh, and threw a coil in there, just a single coil, because he told me that it works well with a single coil. I threw that in there, and then I put it on the ohm reader, it came up to 1.5 ohms. And I haven't built a coil that high before in a dripper. I've always gone like an one ohm or below um, when using it on a mech. But it's like a 1.5 ohm coil and fires nicely. And like the flavor in this Quasar is real nice. I'm really enjoying it. And I've just dripped some Nana Bear in there. I have the few juices that I've tried that Kerbic sent over to me. Um, so far this one I'm really loving and believe it or not it supposedly has hints of tobacco in it so uh, a few weeks ago I was saying I'll never vape a tobacco juice this is kind of a tobacco juice but I wouldn't really call it a tobacco juice it very much just reminds me of the Peach Republic from Vape Boy that I reviewed not so long ago it's like uh, kind of fruity it's got banana in it there's some other fruits in there and it's got a kind of pastry, biscuity kind of taste, um, which may be the tobacco, um, but uh, it doesn't come across as tobacco to me. And it's like a Max VG juice, and it's real nice in this Quasar. I've been thoroughly enjoying it so far since I've had it. I mean, I haven't very much of it, obviously. I've only just got this package tonight. When I came home from work, it was waiting for me, and I was really excited to get it opened up and make a quick video to show you. But uh, on a 1.5 ohm single coil in this Quasar. I've got nothing to complain about. It's super tasty. There's maybe even like a little bit of menthol in there. There's a little bit of whistly where this drip tip's a bit wobbly. I need to get some more drip tips. Um, I took this one off, out of my Mephisto. It doesn't fit quite as nicely. And the one in my Orchid is like... 
proprietary it seems because nothing else seems to fit with that properly um, but I was surprised that the flavour and the vape coming off this 1.5M coil is really nice and uh, the coils are on my nemesis I mean they're just like almost made for each other they look great uh, I love the look of it I just need a little metal drip tip to go on top. I've got the orchid one here, and it looks really nice with that on top. It fits, but it's it's not right. It doesn't fit right. It's weird. It's really wobbly, and it's kind of airy. You can tell it's coming through. Um, but it looks even nicer with that on top too. Um, so I need to get like a stainless steel drip tip to go on top of this instead of this clear one here, which you can see all the kind of droplets in it, and it looks all horrible after a little while. Um, but yeah, like I've gone from like having no juice and being worried about running out of juice, and having an awesome guy from Reddit send me some nicotine to make some juice, to having so much juice I don't even know where to start with vaping it. Um, and I've got more hardware too. Uh, just because I made a comment and guessed a number between one or zero and two hundred, I think it was, and um, I've ended up with all this stuff from Finland. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm really thankful to both of those guys for sending me out stuff. Uh, I can't wait. Even though I've got all this juice now, I still can't wait to do some DIY. So I really do appreciate him sending me that. Um, other things that I wanted to talk about, I'm not really sure. If there was anything else, I'm looking around. Um, I'll probably be making some reviews of some of these juices as I go through them. If there's any that I find particularly bad or particularly good. Um, I think I will make a review of Nana Bear. I'll probably be saying the same things as what I said just now about it, but uh, I want to make a video so that's there as a standalone if people want to find a Nana Bear video just on its own. Um, he also sent me this bottle, which is like a mystery DIY juice. He can't remember what flavors is in there, but he knows it's one of his DIYs that's been steeping for a while. So uh, that'll be interesting to try out. I smelled it a few times, and I can't figure out what it smells like. It's completely foreign to me, that smell. It doesn't smell bad, it smells quite nice. It's maybe a little bit floral, but I don't know. Can't wait to try it. Um, the cinnamon roll smells nice like that. I hate cinnamon, but that smells really nice too. Um, yeah, and that's a big bottle, like I've never had like 50 ml bottles of juice before either, like I've only had small bottles before, so um, I'm so chuffed with all this stuff in front of me and all these juices to try. And it's going to be great to get an idea for other juices to try in the future too, and if there's any I like I can get some bigger bottles. Um, Faux Hawk is one that I tried and that caught me completely off guard because I smelt it and it smells all fruity and nice, and then I vaped it and it was like serious menthol, and I wasn't expecting it because when I smelt it I didn't realise it had menthol at all. and. Uh, I vaped it and I was like, ooh, fruit. And then kind of like about half a second later, I was like, one mouth and throat again, really cold. And I was like, wow, that was menthol. <laughs> I didn't even know it. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. As always, do subscribe if you want to see more vape videos and me talk about more of this stuff and more of this stuff. I don't know if I'll make a video on the Quasar itself. It's a nice little RDA. It's got a small little deck in there, but um, the flavor. very nice indeed and I'm so gonna have to buy a drip tip that fits in here better tomorrow because uh, that whistling is real annoying right um, I'll leave you there guys and I'll say like the video if you liked it if you didn't like it then don't watch any more of them if you don't really want to and come and check out ECREU subreddit this is not an ad for ECREU even though it's kind of coming across as that um, but I've met some cool people over there and I'm having a lot of fun and hopefully it leads to a cool podcast vaping show thingy as well from uh, the people that I'm meeting over there. So it's a great little community. I'm having lots of fun interacting with them and that's why I'm making these videos more than anything because they seem to enjoy them. So keep watching and I'll see you all soon. And since i got this juice of vaping so much, I'm getting a bit of a headache and it's really late and I want to go to bed and this is probably going to keep me awake. And I can't stop vaping this Nana Bear in this Quasar 
because it's so nice. Bye-bye, guys. See you soon.